And please welcome to the stage another funny up and comer, Mr. Drew Craft. So I'm just gonna clear the air real quick. I know you're all looking at me, and there's something that you should know. Yes, when I was in middle school and when I was in high school, I did musical theater. <laughs> I know you all were thinking it. I am part of the LGBT community. I'm, I'm the B, actually, which surprises a lot of people, bearded lady. <laughs> you know, one of the musicals I actually did when I was younger was uh, the musical Annie. I'm confused as to why you're laughing. Oh, oh, let me answer that question for you. No, I did not play Annie. No, the little gay boy with red curly hair didn't play Annie. He wanted to, but he wasn't allowed to play it. Goodness. You know, being ginger's uh, kind of strange or fetishized a little bit and you get um, asked a question very frequently, uh, and it's, does the carpet match the drapes? Now, does the carpet ever not match the drapes? My, I, I'm, I'm ginger head to toe, but it gets, it gets kind of tired to hearing that. Um, so if you guys actually all as a collective ask me, does the carpet match the drapes, do you guys do that for me? Does the carpet match the drapes? Oh, I thank you. I uh, never get to hear that question. Uh, yes, the carpet does indeed match the drapes. However, due to a pest control problem, the carpet had to be removed. <laughs> you know, coming out is sort of a strange thing because it's basically saying, uh, and straight people never have to go through this, you're basically saying, I like butt sex. In fact, I like butt sex so much, I'm gonna tell you all about it. You in the back, I like butt sex. And then you have to go to your mom and your dad. <laughs> And you have to look them dead in the eye and say, Mom, Dad, I like butt sex. <laughs> and that's why we're a great community, because if you can look your parents in the eye and tell them that you like butt sex, you can do anything. You can do anything. Sky's the limit. Yeah, clap. Clap, you can do it. And the irony is, you straight people also like butt sex. But you don't have to admit it, you can hold it into your shame, or us gays have to say it loud and proud. Oh my goodness. My, my, mom, my mom was very supportive, uh, and I, can be, I was getting sick very frequently for a while, and I was telling my mom, I was like, I don't know, like, you know, what, what's going on with me? Why am I getting so sick? And my mom, I, I'm from the Midwest, and she's very naive, and she said, well, you are gay, uh, maybe it's an STD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I had to explain to my mother that uh, straight people get STDs, too. And my mom's response, my beautiful Midwestern naive mother's response was, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> when the teacher becomes the student. Oh, Lord. You know, I did find porn once in my alleyway, and like a box of puppies, I actually took it home and gave it a lot of attention. <laughs> Uh, and the best part about that is it actually was gay porn, which is kind of ironic, but hey, you know, I'll take it. It's my first time ever owning a hard copy of porn. I believe in the internet, and that porn should be free for everyone. That's just my personal belief. You guys can believe whatever you want to believe. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot going on in the, with the community with uh, the bathroom issues. You know, uh, in uh, either North or South Carolina, they put on a ban that trans, trans people can't use the bathroom. They have to use the, the gender on their uh, driver's license. And uh, it's funny because like Bruce Springsteen canceled his shows there in protest. But the thing that changed was, are you guys familiar with X-Hamster? Silence, so you're all embarrassed to admit it. Someone said yes, someone said yes. It's a porn website, it's like X-Tube for you generic people. And uh, basically it's a porn search engine, but that's how we know change is happening, guys. Because once they take our porn from us, they're blocking their service to the state of South Carolina. They're blocking it. Once they take our porn, we strike! We will get that! We want our porn! <laughs> What's funny is the state of Mississippi is actually having the exact same issues going on, and no one's really saying anything. Don't you guys kind of feel like, as a country, we've kind of just given up on the state of Mississippi? <laughs> Do they even have internet there? Is there anyone in the front? No? Oh well. You know, I've been uh, trying to get into better shape, uh, I've actually lost over uh, 100 pounds, 
and uh, I've been doing a lot by eating Subway. I've become addicted to Subway. And frankly, I, I go there so much, I really could, I could be the next Jared, guys. I could be the next Jared of Subway. You know, Subway, eat fresh. But not too fresh. Eat, eat legally fresh. Eating fresh. You know, part of, part of this journey into trying to get, get in shape, I've been taking selfies more to build confidence, which uh, also makes me hate myself because I'm a selfie-taking person. And it's really funny because when we take selfies, we care so much about how we look in the picture, but we really don't care how we look during, during the picture. You know, we're trying to just get the right angle. And that's why I'm actually a fan of the selfie stick. Now hear me out. People, people hate on the selfie stick, but I call it the dildo of photography. You know, we're all embarrassed to have it, but it gets you where you need to go faster. I'm Drew Craft, guys. Thanks for coming out today.